we're going to click on insert oh, sorry and we're going to click on new slide we're going to create a blank slide and then we will going to click on the storyboarding so this will allow you to create storyboarding right on in powerpoint when you're in the storyboarding you click on the storyboard shapes which is right on the ribbon so in storyboarding you click on storyboard shapes and you will notice that all these different kinds of shapes come up because the storyboarding can be used to storyboard applications which could be web application mobile applications websites that's why you have all these variations in backgrounds if you notice in backgrounds you have a desktop, taskbar, ribbon, SharePoint, start menu, and all of these different variations that you can storyboard. So we're going to be storyboarding a website. So we're going to drag, or you can double click on a web browser, and we're going to draw a web browser for you. Now, you can collapse the backgrounds, and there are some common tools. For example, if you want to put buttons there, or if you want to put any kind of hyperlinks and stuff like that, you have all of these different variations of common controls that you could use. We're going to be, for example, using text. So I'm going to be dragging and dropping a text item right here. And I'm going to call this one my site header. So I, let me put a site header, actually, uh, training, training site. That will going to be my site header. Bless you. I can drag and draw and size it up however I like to do it. I can change the font size and all of that stuff, which could be done right from your home tab. You can use some of the text properties. You can use some of the text properties right here, which allows you to increase the font size by simply clicking on this A. You can change the font color. You can make it bold. All of these basic things you can do, to do right from here. You can change the alignment. But for some of the advanced features, you may probably have to go to the Home tab and do it from there. From the home tab, I can go in if I want to change, for example, a background color and add a little background color to it. I can do those kind of things right from here. Then I can certainly duplicate this and take it on the other side. And I can basically call it page footer, where I can decrease the font size and some of the other things that I want to do. Similarly, I can drag and drop another text item or double click on it to get another text item, which I will going to use in place of my site navigation. So let me actually write some of the links like I'll have a home contact us gallery, frequently asked questions, faculty. So I can build my whole site navigation however I wish to make it.
I could use text area as another item available to me in the list right before, right below text. I can use that uh, as a placeholder for my content. And I can certainly give it whatever colors I want to give it to the background and the foreground. all of these options are available for me to test and try and work. And just like you have common controls, you also have a media group controls. If you click on media group, that's where you can have a placeholder for an image. So you can actually drag it and drop it and resize it wherever you want to show your logo however you want to place it, however big you want to place it, you can actually place it that way. So you'll have a logo placeholder as well that way. And like that, you can storyboard all different pages on your site and just give you just one example. As you can see right over here, there are charts, map maker, pie chart, position control, street map, video player, web ad, Webcam, there are all sorts of media logos that you can use when you're storyboarding a site.